generally speaking, the people outside Germany had no thought of what the Nazis were planning to do. And Rabbi Weismandl said to him, you must provide facilities so we can send you our children. My sisters, my brother and I were told we were going on an adventure and that my parents and my grandmother who lived with us were going to soon be joining us. So when my mother and grandmother cried bitterly when we left the house with my father to go to the station, I couldn't understand what the fuss was about. It seemed like a terrific adventure. On the way to the station, two young thugs wearing swastika armbands threw my father up against the wall and cut off his beard. I think it was at that moment that I realized this was not going to be such a great adventure after all. January 20th, 1942, the Nazi government held a high-level meeting known as the Wannsee Conference. A top-secret plan was adopted known as the final solution of the Jewish problem. Germany would establish death camps to systematically murder all the Jewish people in Europe. I know that in many cases, Jews saved themselves and saved others by bribing German officers, by bribing Nazi officers, and bribing even assessment. Learning that such a high-ranking Nazi had accepted a bribe to free a Jew led Weissmandl to conceive a large-scale bribe to stop the deportations of Jews from Slovakia completely. To carry out his plan, Weissmandl organized an underground committee of Jewish leaders from all walks of Slovakian life. Their common goal was the rescue of Slovakian Jewry. The committee was called the Working Group. The first one to respond to Weissmandl was his colleague, Rep. Schleimer Stern, who was a currency dealer. And he actually literally dug up the first $25,000 from the ground where he had it hid. He and his wife washed the money, ironed it so it should look like brand new money sent by American Jews to save their fellow Jews. March 19th, 1944. The German army invades and occupies Hungary. More than 720,000 Jews are living in Hungary. Though it is clear that Germany is losing the war, the Nazis immediately send Eichmann and Bislitzeni to Hungary to begin destroying the Jewish community. 